All right, so another thing you can do in Webmin is setting up your um, how it's called, I gotta check, two-factor authentication. So basically you need to go to working configuration. Here you need to go to two-factor authentication. And now, as you can see, we can pick two options here. We can pick Google Authenticator or Alti. So I'm going to just talk briefly about both of them. So Google Authenticator, the first one. Uh, this actually uses the standard TOTP protocol, which is implemented by a smartphone app provided by Google for most smartphone operating systems. OTP code validation is done entirely by Webmin rather than by calling any Google provider API. And OT, this is a commercial service that provides a smartphone app for generating OTP codes and has a website for enrolling users, which is OT.com. Uh, personally, I think Google Authenticator, if you want to use two-factor authentication at all, Google Authenticator is definitely easier and I think uh, it doesn't have that many bugs that Auti has. Because when uh, this is down, when Auti is down, you won't be able even to log into your server if you have this two-factor authentication server. Uh, okay, so I think uh, let's go with the Google Authenticator. I'm going to show you how to set up with this option. So let's do save. As you can see, here we have the file. Save to factor authentication because the parallel module is not in installed. So I'll just click here to parallel modules. Needs to think a minute. Okay, so it's pulling the all the requested modules for the authentication. All right. Now we can go back to the to factory authentication, and again we can pick the Google Authenticator. Save. Okay. This is done. So now we're gonna go to web users and we're gonna go to two-factor authentication and we have here enroll for two-factor authentication okay so as you can see enrolling with provider Google Authenticator. Your ID is this. Enter the code in the Google Authenticator app or scan the QR code. So basically now you would need to install Google Authenticator app on your phone, scan this code or just type this in and when you're going to when you would log out out of webmin you will be asked let's just log out for now you should be asked for and the code from the app
There you go, we need to verify with the token. Okay, so I'm not gonna do it because it's really simple. You just need to install the Google application. It's uh, authorization application on your phone. Then the token comes to your phone, you put it in, press verify and everything is done. So basically this is how simple it is, this two-way authentication. If you would like to just scratch it and just uh, be without it, you can of course do it, because I'm still, as you can see, I logged in with SSH to SSH to my server. So if you want to turn off the this uh, two-way authentication, you will need to do two things. First, I will need to jump to the sudo user. Root user. Now you will need to do this. the first command and the second command is going to be this one at the end well let's just press start to admin we're gonna do the old fashioned way. All right. Well, there you go. I'm just gonna log out for now. Again, root. And your two-way authentication is scratched. So this is fairly easy. Hope you like it. Uh, more to come, so stay tuned. See ya.